Welcome to my channel, dear students. Here is the problem of um, problem of uh, for the binomial theorem showing binomial binomial theorem that is C uh, over C one, C two over C three, C four over C five, C six over seven, and dot dot plus dot dot to the power n, two to the power n over n plus one actually. But I am using here binomial theorem with the uh, integration. Then we get the answer uh, perfectly. See, uh, here is the technique is this. Okay. So what is the binomial theorem? This is one plus x to the power, you know, uh, that is n c zero, or uh, this is that n c one uh, into x, n c two uh, into x square, n c three into x cube, okay, and this is n c four into x to the power four, and this is n c five into x to the power five plus dot dot two uh, infinity. Oh uh, no no no, this is a uh, uh, sorry, this is not a by uh, infinity. This is a finite value as c. This is here n c five, so n, n would be an integer. So then we can write n c five like that. Okay. So this is the ending term here, n c n and x to the power n. See, there is a degree here is n. So same as uh, we can write one minus x to the power n, and that would be n c zero minus n c one into x plus n c two into uh, x square and that will be n c three into x cube. So this is plus n c four into x square four minus n c five into x square five, and like that. Okay. So not related to ending terms. So so now if we adding this uh, if we adding this after that c here n c zero we get here n c two c n c zero n c two n c five we got the um, uh, this factor c zero c two c four. Like that. So adding this expression one and two. Let us assume this is an one, and this is an two. Okay. So adding one and two. So see what happened after that. So yeah, adding one and two. This is we got here one plus x to the power n plus one minus x to the power n. That would be two times of. This is each and every um, plus and negative plus minus are uh, cancel out. Then remaining the all term are double. So that's why twice times of this is n c zero. So this is n c zero. This is twice times of uh, two taken common here. So n c two into x to the power two, n c four into x to the power four, n c six. Okay, x to the power uh, six. Okay, like that. Okay, now uh, this is over two. We can uh, transfer to the left hand side. That is two a uh, here. This is one plus x four to the power n. This is one minus x whole to the power n, and this is n c zero, n c two x square, n c four x to the power four, n c six, n c six x to the power six plus dot two. Okay, now integrating both side. Now integrating. Both. Uh, side first, then we use the limit for getting this expression. So see uh, what would be the limit here. So first we write the expression here. Then after we use the limit, which is best possible. So see. So this is here n c zero and dx. This is here n c two into x square dx. This is your n c four into x to the power five. Uh, no, this is your four, and this is your dx, and same as integral n c six x to the power six and dx. So if we integrate, then we got our n c zero and dx. It means x here, and if we uh, integrating this uh, x square, then we get here x cube by three. So n c two by three. C n c two by three. For that n c four, if we integrate, then we get here n c five by five. So n c four by five here. So now put here the lower limit be zero and upper limit be one zero one zero one. So we got the perfect answer. So it was here zero to one. So now uh, doing integrating uh, this left hand side. So we got here one plus x to the power here n plus one over n plus one, and this is limit zero to one, same as half. This is one minus x to the power n plus one over. Uh, this is zero to one, and if we uh, integrate, then we got here 
uh, sine we have minus. So after integrating of this expression, this is n c naught and x. This is here zero to one, n c two, and this is here x is x cube over three, and this is zero to one. N C four x three by five by five, and this is zero to one. N C six x three by seven by seven. Zero to one. So uh, this is here half. Put here two to the power n plus one by n plus one. If we put here upper limit, then we got here one by n plus 1 again minus half if we put here 1 then we got here 0 then minus if we put here 0 then we got here 1 by uh, n plus 1 so if we put here nc0 then we got here 1 nc2 by 3 if we put here upper limit and lower limit then we got here only 1 same as nc4 over 5 and same as n c six over seven dot dot so the value of this expression be half take common half this is two to the power n plus one and this is over n plus one this is a minus one minus minus this is a plus one okay and this is n c zero n c two over three nc3 no this is an nc4 nc4 over 5 nc6 over 7 okay so again rewrite the right hand side figure is nc0 one third nc2 one fifth nc4 one by seven nc6 uh, and dot dot and that would be one more uh, nc now this is uh, b here 2 to the power n into 2 and this is here half and this is here n plus 1 so 2 to your cancel out this is 2 to the power n by n plus 1 is your answer okay thank you thank you for watching my video